to Dr. Siddhartha uh, Basurai and I wish you all the best and uh, great work and great uh, achievement and uh, wish you uh, all the best and congratulations and greetings from the entire speed faculty and speed members uh, and speed institute to you for scoring rank number 12 in uh, specialty of mch head and neck surgery uh, in the session of uh, neat ss 2021 thank you sir very good great achievement fantastic can we know your career from where you started your medicine and where, you, where did your ENT correct ENT? Yes. So MS ENT and where you did your uh, post graduation? Uh, sir, I joined MBBS in 2012, batch of 2012 in Goa Medical College. I finished 2018 my internship and the same year I joined my ENT. Uh, so, sir, actually it happened so that it was during my internship that I I really started liking the subject ENT. Especially we do a lot of head and neck surgeries here because we don't have a cancer institute in Goa. And the load is really good, the head and neck cancer load. So it's entirely done by our department. So that really interested me because of the anatomy, because of the complexity of the surgeries of head and neck. So I decided to take up ENT. And uh, then after that, it was I, I finished uh, my exams this year, 2018, uh, sorry, 2021. August and um, after that I'm, I'm doing my senior residency now in Goa Medical College. So both your uh, UG, PG both in Goa Medical College? Yes sir, yes sir, both in Goa Medical College. Great place, I think there are few people blessed uh, in being uh, in uh, God's uh, natures and God's loving uh, places and uh, I, mean, uh, I mean how is that in Goa because you basically uh, belong to uh, uh, city of Goa? No, sir. Uh, my uh, my I, I my dad has a, had a transferable job, so uh, I was traveling all my childhood. I had some nine schools. Just traveled all over the country. Come again? I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't hear that part. What do you What do you said? I I studied in nine schools altogether. Why? So, what, what was your father doing? Sir, dad dad is a civil engineer. So wherever he gets projects, he used to get transferred frequently. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. 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 So, uh, they were very strict. so uh, I was in. Uh, this part of the country as well. So then they really, they really liked Goa. So then they decided that after the, their retirement, they would want to settle here. So they bought a flat. And the same year I answered my All India entrance for <laughs> MBBS. And then they were like, you go there. So yes, I was here. And uh, I was getting out. Like I was thinking of shifting my college for post-graduation. But then I was, I, I had seen that department here, the ENT department. And they were really good, very good hands-on. So I decided I'll stay back. And uh, I think it was a good decision to stay back. <laughs> so your alma mater, you are alma mater and you will be more comfortable staying in known alma mater. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But sir, when I joined ENT, always head and neck was in the back of my mind. I mean, I took ENT because I liked head and neck. More than any other thing, I was interested in head and neck. So uh, after that, sir, in my second year of MS, I got the opportunity to travel to Tata Memorial Hospital. There was an obs observership program and I, I got enrolled for it two weeks there. Then I got selected for some scholarship. I, I was sent to London as well from Tata Institute. So I got to work in head and neck there as well during the second year of my residency. And then I knew it for sure that I had to take head and neck. But so the thing is in this part of the country, we really don't have any guidance and coaching classes as far as MCH or anything beyond. Because most of the people here would think MS is an MS ENT is an end branch. So Achieve. Yes, sir. Yeah. So then uh, I, I I was going through online. Like I was just Googling one day that what, how can I prepare for head and neck? And then speed came up. And uh, so I, 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 this was my third year. So then I contacted the people there and then they told me they are starting a head and neck course. And I took it and it was, I, I, I really can't thank the speed team enough because everyone knows that there are certain books to be read, but what to be read? And most importantly, what to focus on? What are the new things? We had questions directly from the classes, like questions which are not, I, I have not seen those questions in any other books, any, any books for that matter. But then those questions were directly asked. So for, so for me, for a senior resident in a tertiary care institute, I didn't have time much to go through all the books. I, I would diligently go through the notes and I think that was really, really helpful. Very good. And uh, so you you joined uh, Speed and after that what happened? Sir, after, it was in my third year sir, then uh, what happened was actually Covid happened sir. 
Okay. So we were busy. We were busy. We we had long hours of duties and everything. But I would I would still make it a point to watch the videos, to watch the notes, whatever was there. How much ever I could do it, sir, because that time it was a bit physically straining. We had our thesis and everything. So, sir, in that also I would try to get some time. But the thing is, uh, speed would help me prepare for my MS exams as well as for MCH exams. Certain tricky topics, the faculty here, Dr. Teja, has beautifully simplified the topics. and exactly what is asked what is needed whether it's for ms or it is for neat he has covered up in a very good way so it 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 was it was never sir it was never a neat ss preparation it was ms with neat ss preparation all the way two in one yes sir yes. Huh? yes he is very very precise person he will not to instead of talking three words he will talk one word Only point, to the point, he is always oriented. Whenever he draws a schedule, I'll tell him. Yeah, other specialties people are uh, making uh, so many hours and so many um, classes, and uh, your schedule is uh, one third of other schedule. I will say when discussion of uh, schedule for every year, sir. What is your aim, sir? Our students should get rank, correct, sir? You responsibility you give to me, and uh, if he, if they don't get rank, you tell me. He said last time also. Why is there so many classes? Why we need to burden them? We will teach them what is required for the exam. Let them pass and read. They are going to read the entire internal surgery for three years. Let them. They will read. We will give only what is necessary. And uh, he used to say, but I always used to feel little insecurity. Why we are giving less classes? But appropriate classes was given. That's what I can uh, say. Then I leave it to your experience. Yes, yes, absolutely. So it's about hitting the bullseye all the time. like we had direct questions i think so the pre- other toppers also must have told you there are things which we would not think that would ever come in the paper and we would just neglect it but he has covered it well and the same thing there were questions directly from the notes whether mm. it was neat ss or ini ss and those things I, i i would have never read if it was not for his classes like there's something called forgotten triangles of the neck they are forgotten but he made it a point for us to revise and questions were from there so so it was it. it was a beautiful experience with speed and so even your general surgery classes sir, they were they were really that. good sir yes that. sir i did attend i attended the general sections the systemic not that much but the general part of it because sir i was scared of that uh, general surgery part so <laughs> so you attended the thyroid parathyroid surgery class those yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir you on i have a separate notebook of your notes i have a separate oh, i have separate yeah. books of his <laughs> Great, 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 great. Sound for me. <laughs> so now uh, we have a friend in Goa. Huh? <laughs> so right now you are in Goa, or uh... yes, sir. I am still working here as a senior resident. Okay, very well. Yes, sir. Now, uh, now, what is the plan? Uh, sir, I would. I am pursuing well. Like, I, I would, there are very few seats. So there are fourteen seats. That's what I have been told. That there are only fourteen yeah, seats are according to the NMCs. uh sir my preference i i don't think with the rank of 12 i'm going to get tata memorial hospital unlikely so my next aim is to go to guwahati the okay. regional cancer center guwahati uh-huh, okay there's a oh. there's a regional cancer center in guwahati i would want to go there sir because that that has a good load and i and it's under the umbrella of tata institution so i would want to go and work there but uh, sir it's wherever i get there's no no to anything wherever i get i'm willing to go very very nice i see one thing which i observed i will tell you you also look into after this interview is over you also have look into the other uh, interviews which i have made with uh, other head and neck topper surgery mc head and neck uh, people who worked and who have got the ranks and they are all very enthusiastic and uh, i mean uh, the kind of bubbly bubbly and uh, the, the kind of joy and the enthusiasm and uh, i think every specialty we have an aura when I mean, that's what i have uh, understood Huh? Very light and very come on. Let's do it. Everybody is that way almost. Or to my conclusion, and say come on, we have to do it. We do it. And there are only few seats. No problem. We'll do it. And no issues. So very enthusiastic, and I appreciate all of you. And uh, all the topics. I mean, I I have seen from rank one to rank twenty, all have been taken by uh, the entire team of yours. Every rank has been uh, taken head and neck, and all are uh, uh, our students only, speed only. And uh, you have done an amazing job, including with the Dr. Teja, the faculty, and the entire team. You have nicely made a successful story, a very successful story you have built. And uh, and 
now from you message to students who are aspiring for head and neck surgery uh, yes sir so uh, one very important thing is it happens with everyone whoever wants to pursue head and neck we look at the number of seats that are available and then just looking at there of 13 14 seats we say it's not possible back off back off <laughs> it's just always like just back off there's no use all india 14 seats how 13 seats how are you going to go ahead there are people who are going to get those seats why not aspire to be one of them put in everything you can you have the right guidance with, especially with speed i mean you have the most most uh, beautiful guidance that you can get and uh, with that you put in your hard work no matter whether you're working or not we can always manage somehow working as a resident somewhere is not an excuse of not you know clearing it it's difficult but you can you definitely can and with if you are motivated enough if you are dedicated enough there is no no there is absolutely no way that you are not going to succeed just give in your 100% and hope for the best so that's my message for everyone very nice doctor time to thank and whom you want to thank please go ahead and do it uh, yes sir uh, so first of all i would like to thank my parents without them it would not be possible but it it would not be possible to do anything in life not only need us so my all my uh, gratitude and my thanks goes to them first next i would like to thank the speed institute because i have i am meant i am always telling this fact i tell my juniors as well that without speed i would not have cleared this exam so i mean i i, I can't be indebted enough to speed thirdly i would like to thank my department my department has been has been extremely supportive right from day one whether it's my thesis my my guide dr goel or all my consultants my present head of the department head of my unit dr tiwari every all, all of them have been so motivated and when i was down when i was i was almost about to give up that no it's not possible they were the one who told me that you can do it so my entire department i would like to thank sir these are the people i want to thank excellent excellent doctor and i wish you all the best and all the success and a great career as an head and neck surgeon and uh, and to build and you have already built and you are in the process of doing it and you will do it and uh, if you with your enthusiasm anything is achievable very strong positive attitude and uh, encouraging I mean you you are i'll tell you you are an energy source actually you are you are, you are one energy source you can uh, give lot of energy to people around you and you have got an such an aura and an attitude uh, that to achieve uh, things in life i am very impressed, really impressed and um, and i wish you uh, all the best and all the success uh, for the great career ahead in head and neck surgery and head and neck oncology and keep going and keep contributing a lot that you can for this specialty and also and uh, i mean take and definitely you will give a great service to your patients there is no doubt about it and the people are going to get benefit out of your service and for all that and i want to wish you and as a team we want to wish you all the best all the success and a great career ahead and keep going and uh, keep achieving be happy and always be happy and uh, and also convey our regards to your parents to your friends to relatives everybody all people around you who made you happy best wishes to you have a great career thank you thank you so much thank you